Hey y'all, it's Ashley coming to you from the Grumel Springs Library. Uh, I have a new project that we're going to be offering this week. You can pick it up Monday through Sunday. Uh, and that project is Blackout Poetry. Now, what is Blackout Poetry? Um, it looks something like this. And it's when a page of text, it could be from a newspaper, uh, a magazine, or a book, is completely blacked out, as in colored in with permanent marker, except for a select few words. And they're words that you pick out to make a new story out of the existing text. Okay, so how do you write blackout poetry? Uh, the first thing you want to do is scan the page that you're using. Look for an anchor word, something that uh, leaps out to you in an emotional way. Uh, and you can base your poem around that anchor word. Once you've done that, go back, read the whole page in its entirety, and circle with pencil the words and phrases that you want to use for your blackout poem. Once you've done that, you're going to go back with a permanent marker and black out everything else. And if you want to be really fancy with it, you can um, actually draw a picture that ties in with the subject of your poem. Those look something like this. Now, let's see how this is done um, on camera. Okay, so we're gonna start with a blank page. This is gonna be included in the kit that you pick up along with a set of writing tips and a marker. You might need a pencil. I would highly suggest using a pencil to kind of mark out as you go what you're thinking you're gonna use for your poem. I have already done the penciling bit, um, so we're going to start marking out. Now, one of the tips that I have for you as you're doing this is when you get to the coloring bit, make sure that you're being careful with the words that you have picked out. Um, I did just a regular one at first and I got a little bit excited with my marker and started coloring into the letters that were part of my poem. Like my L is just completely gone and looked. Um, and it's really annoying if you have spent, you know, 10, 15 minutes figuring out which one you're going to use, uh, which letters you're going to use only to do that because you cannot erase permanent marker. Instead of uh, coloring in this whole thing, I am actually going to leave it as an outline on this one because I feel like it's going to be visually confusing for my windows because those obviously have to stay blank and I don't want people confusing those for parts of the poem that I'm trying to create. And that's it, a whole new poem. Uh, half in love, half scared, Shirley Jackson can spin your head, but sweet times scared together. Nice, really. I am not a poet, uh, but I would also like to point out that next week has Bad Poetry Day. Um, so I'm going to say that was on purpose. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you soon.